Hey, all right, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about branding and website and that kind of thing. Um, and I'm probably gonna say something the opposite of what you think. Um, so first of all, you don't need a website. You really don't even need a logo you to get started with this. Um, I think the first step for anyone before they make a logo is to really start to explore who is it that they feel like they are and that they want to represent, okay? Not necessarily yourself, but who, what is your ideal customer? What is somebody, um, when you think about working with someone um, to help them find solutions, who is it? Who's the first person that pops into your head? And now you want to think about how you can appeal to them, right? And maybe think about what appeals to you, right? So look around you and take in some notes and, and um, some perspectives on the brands that you love. What are some things that you turn to? Who do you shop with? And um, who makes you feel the best, right? And how are they branding themselves? So taking an assessment and evaluation of the people that you admire um, and that you want to, you know, sort of mimic is totally good. Of course, you're not going to be them, but you do want to know what appeals to you. And a lot of times, especially if you don't have any previous like art school or design school or whatever, this is all brand new. And so you really do need to look around and see what are other people doing that you like? What are other people doing that you don't like? And kind of take that into into it to heart so that you can apply that to your marketing. Now, I will say that one of my, my, um, my biggest pet peeves is people relying 100% on the doTERRA marketing because the way that you're going to attract customers is through your specific brand. And that can sound really intimidating if you don't know what that is, but I can promise you it's way simpler. Don't overcomplicate it. It's way simpler than you probably think it is. What do you do? Um, I, I will often ask people, you know, before doTERRA came into your life, what were the things that were important to you? What were the other activities that you were doing? You know, it could be kayaking, it could be sewing, it could be knitting, it could be, you know, just homemaking in general. Now, if those are the things that are important to you, then build around those things. Um, I often will ask people, what are the bumper stickers that you put on your car? Now, people are like, well, it's my college sports team. Okay, fine. Incorporate that into your marketing. I think you'll relate to a very specific audience. And people will be like, well, I'm not going to support Duke because then my Carolina friends are not going to shop with me. But the point is, is that we want to really, if that's true, I don't think that's really true. I don't think maybe there are people who really make their decisions about shopping based on that. But Maybe that rivalry entices them. Maybe they're not your ideal customer. You know, I really think it's important for us to realize that not that we're choosing sides, but we are choosing who we want to serve. And so we really need to have a focus on that um, when it comes to branding. Um, branding is sort of just knowing who you are and presenting that, okay? It's knowing what's important to you and presenting that. And a lot of times that does mean that you need to be a little bit vulnerable and say the things that you struggle with and say the things that you... Um, you know, have a hard time with or your bad days are just as important as your good days a lot of times because it helps your customer find you relatable and know that if their struggles are the same as yours, then the products you love are ones they'll probably love too, okay? So I think that that's really important. A lot of times we try to tie a ribbon around our brand and make it beautiful and um, attractive and while we do want some of that, we also want to make sure that we're relatable and that we can um, meet our customers where they are and help them get where they want to go, okay? Um, so what are some tips and tricks about that? I think that thinking about those bumper stickers, thinking about three reasons people call you, because I think three is a good number. Think about reasons people call you on the phone. What information or advice do they ask you um, when they call you? Why do they call you? What do they need from you when they call you um, or text you or message you or whatever they're doing these days? Um, what advice are they asking you for? Um, and I think that helps you really kind of form some ideas. And one of the best things that you can do, and I'm constantly doing this, is start to describe in your mind your perfect customer and think about what does she look like and what does she wear and um, what are her daily struggles and where does she shop and what's her favorite website or favorite blog or favorite podcast and be thinking about all of these things because the more you know your customer, the more you can meet her specific needs or his specific needs, whatever it may be. Um, and I think being okay with zoning in on that is really important because the more specific you are, the more your customers will trust you because they'll know you have committed to this one thing instead of all the things. I think a lot of times we think with the oils, well, everybody needs the oils, right? Well, that's so true, but we are not going to appeal to everyone individually. Everyone is not going to be interested in what we're doing um, because we just are not everybody's cup of tea, right? So we really need to think about what is it 
that we can do and say to, to relay our, inf our, that our information, our passion for these products in a way that meets the needs of the people specifically that we want to work with or that will be drawn to us. So that's what you want to do with your branding. And I, um, I think sometimes we get caught up in making the perfect website or having the perfect logo or the perfect name of our business even. And really, let's just say your name is the brand, right? I, you know, if Lacey Grimm Oils is the name of my brand, which honestly I wish is how I started, but I overcomplicated it because that's how I am. I think everybody in the beginning tends to try to overcomplicate it. You are you and you are what people are drawn to, especially with the oils, because the oils, you know, we can get them anywhere. Anyone, everyone, there's lots of people selling doTERRA. So what is it about you? Well, who are you that offers something different when somebody buys those oils from you, right? What is it that, that draws them to you specifically? And I'm Lacey Grimm. Who are you? Okay. So think about it that way. I think if you're really at the very beginning and you haven't made a business name uh, or started an LLC or anything, think about calling your business very simply just fill in the blank oils. Okay. Your name oils. And what would that look like? Okay. So for an example, my name is Grimm. And I felt like Grim Oils. Grim is a hard one because we have a farm, and Grim Farm sounds very depressing because it's one M. Um, so we took a few steps away from that, but with good intention, we still have our name. But it's just we took that into account. I don't want to portray Grim necessarily as the feeling that people have when they use the products that I sell or anything along those lines. So. Um, just be, but you might have a great last name that isn't so dreary and you can use that and that would be easy, right? And you know who you are. And the cool thing is, is that when you use your own personal brand, it can adapt and it can change and it can shift. And I've seen that happen a lot with folks over the years. They maybe start with one name and over time they're like, it doesn't really fit me anymore. Um, but you can't really change it. I can think of one good example actually, and I'll share this and I think she probably won't mind. Um, she's a blue diamond or she maybe no, she's blue diamond. It, um, and that shoot, Jackie Ritz and Frank Ritz, they're blue diamonds. And she started her business when she had a blog called paleo mama. Now paleo is an eating style, if you don't know, and a diet that you can follow. And over the years, she sort of shifted away and doesn't want to be pegged into that one name or one kind of thing, but she is, and she has a very good following and uh, market and people love her and she can't change her name now. It's really too late because people know her as Paleo Mama and she talks to marketers and they're like, no, you gotta, you just gotta stick this one out. So just be careful that you don't pigeonhole yourself too much. And I feel like your name is totally a free, like you are into Paleo right now and that's cool and you're sharing that with people and you're helping people with that. But maybe next month you have a new idea, a new vision, or you've learned something new that you want to share, and you can pull that in too if you just use your name as the um, as the branding. So just some things to think about when you're thinking about branding, and um, also not to think about because I really don't want anyone to feel overwhelmed or stuck that they have to find the perfect name and the perfect logo before they start their business. It's not that kind of a business, okay? We're not really opening franchises. We don't need to have um, a specific business. We just have to have us and put our name on it, and that is what people will buy. And we already have that. We don't have to get too complicated. So if you're just starting out, do not overcomplicate. Um, if you're further down the road, then just be thinking about what is like specifically, you know, at first we just help everyone, all our friends and family and relatives, right? Those are our customers. But then beyond that, who are we going to reach? Who's our target? And and really focusing on who we are as that basically the same as our customer, right? We want to be relatable with them. So hope that's helpful. Uh, we'll talk later.